Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm very excited to present you a brand new project that uh, we're going to launch in 2017. So the idea is really to allow anybody, uh, scientists and professional divers, to become the next uh, Paul Rose from the National Geographic. So the idea is really to allow uh, anybody to connect to the internet users. Uh, as we saw, there is a, a, a great potential using social networks, and uh, now uh, communities are getting stronger and stronger, and uh, the idea is really to uh, to build up a social communication with new, new tools. So everybody knows the problem about, uh, about the oceans is that most of the people are not aware about uh, climate changes, acidification of coral reefs, pollution. Uh, and there, there are some studies that uh, show that most of uh, Americans and Europeans uh, are really keen about the oceans and uh, they would like um, to discover the oceans, uh, but they cannot see the, uh, under the, the surface. So there is really this, uh, this barrier that uh, enables them to, to discover what's beneath the water. And only a very few percentage of the population is really able to dive. So it's divers and, and, and some scientists. So uh, scuba diving, uh, it's a, an activity that makes everybody dreams about, but uh, very few people are uh, really able to dive. Uh, you have uh, six million divers around the world uh, that are really passionate. You have uh, 20 million divers that dive once a year, but basically uh, the regional public is really far away from being able to, to, uh, to dive. It's a li little bit, uh, it's perceived as a risky activity. It's sometimes expensive. You have geopolitical uh, pr problems that can arise uh, in different places uh, on earth. So the idea is really to bring uh, new tools uh, and to allow this, um, this uh, industry, the scuba diving industry, to, uh, to go through the, their digital uh, conversion and to make accessible the underwater exploration and discovery to the general public using social medias. So everybody knows about the consequences, and we talked about, uh, about that fact this morning, about uh, the poor ocean literacy, literacy among the public. So it, there you see the, the different facts. Uh, and our idea uh, is really to, to, uh, to be able to, uh, to go online and to make people aware about uh, those, uh, those problems. And for example, most of the dive centers and, uh, and marine reserve uh, protected areas, they already have a, a very big community, connected community. In average, they have 3,000 or 4,000 uh, followers in Facebook or in, in Twitter. So the idea is really to, uh, to use those uh, social networks and to allow people to discover the oceans through the network of scientists and, and professional scuba divers. So our vision is really to, to link the, the professional community, so you have two and point five million professional divers that are uh, uh, either diving instructors, scientists, uh, the dive centers, uh, knowing that this industry is also looking for new ways to communicate. It has been uh, growing a lot since uh, until the, the, the uh, late 90s, but uh, ever since uh, their growth is, is uh, really sluggish. And on the other side, you have the internet that uh, really exploded uh, since uh, the early of, the, of this millennium. So the, uh, our idea with the, our project Ocean Connected is really to link th those professionals, uh, scientists and scuba divers with the internet users. So how are we going to do that? So we have uh, invented uh, the first uh, underwater connected uh, uh, computer or smart object uh, uh, call, called the Dolphin. And the idea is really to propose this uh, computer, so subaquatic interactive computer to scientists and to dive centers in order for them to, uh, to broadcast and to stream live their underwater exploration through social networks. And for example, if uh, today uh, we had a diver in the Bahamas, he we would be able to see what he was uh, filming directly here uh, uh, with live streaming in, in Bruges. So the, it's in fact, it's an ecosystem that is based on, on uh, the, the consoles that is uh, equipped with a tablet PC, HD cameras, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, with a buoy uh, that allows co uh, communication in 4G. We can also put some uh, sensors uh, and echo sounder to map the sites. Uh, we have a dedicated uh, embedded app that uh, shows geolocalized information that can uh, um, acquire uh, data, uh, geolocalized data, like pictures, photos, uh, uh, and uh, water temperatures, and so on. And of course, that can uh, go live streaming uh, with uh, the camera that can stream live through the internet. And on the other side, we have a web platform that allows the live events uh, and also to, uh, for a replays, uh, people to, to uh, look back and to, to relive, relive their, uh, their experience, and it's based on, on a social network. 
So uh, our value proposition is really to, uh, to be a, a complement to, to diving. It's not, we're not going to change and to replace real diving with virtual diving, but the idea it, it can be really uh, a new tool for, for professional divers to attract more people to the activity, uh, and to create customer loyalty, and also to, to have a much more visibility using social networking. Uh, and for the, the, the users, so anybody that would be connected uh, to our platform, is really to have an uh, immersive experience, because we, are, we plan also to film in three dimensions, so people will be able with a virtual uh, reality mask to, uh, to see the events uh, in three dimensions, and to have low-cost accessibility to the oceans. So our, our uh, goal is really to, to, uh, to, make, uh, to find ways to link scientists uh, to the internet users. Uh, so we can imagine st uh, build storytelling, uh, based on uh, geolocalized information, so people really will know where the action I is taking place. We can put uh, information about e-learning, so people will, uh, will be aware about uh, the problems and, uh, and the beauty of marine science, for example. Uh, and we can even uh, imagine uh, working on gamification and, and serious gaming, so people will be uh, really interacting and be active even though they are connected far away from the diver. So uh, we, we worked for the last few years uh, in, in um, doing some uh, road shows and, uh, and presentation. So our idea is really we, we got feedback from uh, marine reserves, from dive centers, for, uh, as you will see also, for social uh, handicapped people. And the idea is really to include everybody to the ocean discovery, to communicate about uh, marine science, and to uh, uh, outreach uh, as m many people as possible with, uh, with our new solutions. So our reference, uh, we have been working with the Marine Reserve of Porco in the south of France. Uh, we are working in uh, uh, first, uh, first uh, usage is to uh, create inter interactive uh, snorkeling trails. So people will be able to, to see on the screen of our uh, console uh, the, the different points of interest uh, that, uh, that will be augmented with uh, information. Uh, we have also working uh, with a um, thera therapeutical uh, center in the south of France and uh, we are giving a, a console, and in that case, we are bringing the ocean to handicapped kids in the swimming pool, the swimming pool. So instead of just uh, seeing the, the, the bottom of the, the, the swimming pool where there is nothing to see, we are bringing them uh, the, the sea with, uh, for example, with this small kid, uh, he was three years old, we put uh, some uh, cartoons with uh, Nemo and things like that, and uh, some of the, the older kids were dreamed to, to, uh, to dive with dolphins or to manta rays, so we put some, some movies and uh, they really forget their pains while they were uh, into the swimming pool. At the same time, we worked, uh, we did the first live uh, underwater live event in the south of France with the Marine uh, Oceanologic Institute of bagnols sur mer uh, So we retransmitted live uh, the, the dive uh, through, uh, the, with the, uh, in collaboration with the Pierre Marie Curie University. And uh, the, we also participated in the Viva the Technology uh, show in Paris uh, last year, where we tested uh, the 3D uh, visualization of underwater world. So th our project has been uh, is issued from uh, R&D, uh, several R&D projects. We have been financed by the European Commission, by French uh, agencies. Uh, we got uh, lucky to have uh, uh, several uh, major awards in Geneva and Paris and, and Monaco. And uh, we are already supported by major scuba diving and uh, environmental uh, uh, associations. So uh, our, the objective of our projects really to start building up uh, a network of associated uh, professionals, so either scuba divers, uh, dive centers, and also scientists, uh, and to start promoting and creating the first events worldwide. So we have already some partnership in, uh, in the south of France. Uh, we're building a partnership in Australia and in, in uh, the United States. And the idea is to really to start having the live first events uh, around the world uh, in 2017. So if you're interested about the, this project, feel free to to come and, uh, and talk to me. And uh, I have a small video that shows the, the concept. Uh,
here is the, the, the Dolphin console. So as you will see that here you have the, you can uh, see the, the screen where you, you can control the, the different apps. And on the, on the front you have uh, the camera. Uh, you have joysticks that allows you to control what you're uh, filming and to uh, access different kind of applications. And here you connect to the buoy where you can uh, uh, connect uh, the, the console to the internet. So hopefully. <laughs> The video was outside of the. It's gone. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your attention, and feel free to come. Uh, I have the video on my tablet. So I can show it to you.